Here in contention for another possible league title as Saturday afternoon basketball is underway in this early tip time here from Orlando and the Knights here with the first offensive touch is looking to try to break their three game losing streak. And right out of the gates gonna be initial steal here by Shaley Gonzalez and here comes one of the most potent scoring teams in all of college basketball coach in Texas Longhorns. Now you think about this freshman. She's already won three gold medals for the U.S. squad and terrific pass inside. Taylor Jones, the Oregon State transfer. 82 and a half points here for Texas on the season. They come off a victory on Wednesday against Texas Tech. It's for UCF, last time out. They would fall out on the road as they're a bucket for the Knights, and it's Maya Burns to even things up. She's going to have to give Caitlin Peterson some help in the scoring column. So that's a good sign for the Knights. Down inside, trying off the glass. That was Booker volleyed out. Here comes Morgan Robinson Owago, and the Knights here in transition looking to push. Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Mississippi. The long three by Peterson. And now Texas, who's one of the best rebounding teams here in the Big 12, now on the offensive end. And we're going to get a whistle downstairs away from the basketball. There's a look there at Vic Schaefer. As I know his ladies trying to maybe bounce back, coach. Game against Texas Tech in which they would give up a lot of points, but in the end, we're able to get the dub. Well, keys for them is pressure, pressure, pressure. You got to force turnovers. They force almost 20 a game and then paint touches. Right there, perfect example on the out of bounds play. Get the ball into the paint. For UCF, it's team board work. This Texas team is a team that averages almost 15 offensive rebounds a game and in good hands. They cannot have unforced errors that lead to Longhorn baskets here this afternoon. Score by Shea Holly. There were several seniors here for Vic Schaefer in this Longhorn club. And a shot clock at three. Jewett's triple on its way. And way off the mark. Shot clock violation. As year number four here for Vic Schaefer. Just recently got 100 wins as a Texas coach. Also was able to surpass the 400 total win mark in his coaching career. And Satya Messer, and I know, Coach, we're going to get to this storyline as these two coaches extremely familiar with each other. A lot of history between the two. Triple in the corner. That was Gonzalez. Loose orange on the deck, and we're going to get a whistle here against the Knights. As Coach mentioned, began her collegiate career at Oregon State. 13 points, team best, seven rebounds coming into this one. Young lady actually said, she told me she went to the final four game where Mississippi State won it. Here is Peterson to the 10, in and out. Flying up ahead, here's Gonzalez to the trailer, Jones. And Jones will get fouled down in the pivot. Now back to the free throw line for the Forney, Texas product, the senior. He's got a twin sister. I mentioned that winning streak, seven games. They have won by an average of 13 points. That last game out against Texas Tech, that has been as close as it has got, Coach, for these Longhorns. who did get injured there before conference basketball began. Ashol Akat will have it ripped out of her hands. Scott, even though UCF has not been able to score in the paint, the, the fact that they're attacking the rim will help them later because it will push the defense back on their heels. And the interception, here's Amina Muhammad. And now the triple in the corner is up, and it is good for Shea Holly. Look well. at that mustache. It's, it's a cross between Tom Selleck and Bill Murray from Saturday Night Live, that mustache. And Coach Messer, what an unbelievable playing career. It's now UCF, who has had issues here with turnovers through his first six minutes of play, six turnovers for the Knights. And they're just one of six from the field. Here is Peterson. She's unloading. Comes in averaging 20 and a half points. And Coach Vic Schaefer mentioned that she might be one of the top guards that Longhorn team faces all season. 
as losing her footing, that was Booker. And now the loose ends. Here's a three on two for the Knights. Pulling up Asia Todd. And the clearance by Taylor Jones. And then the Longhorns are going to give it right back. Miscommunication. UCF has done a good job of, of not turning the basketball over. Jewett. She'll get cut off. Now the open woman in the corner. That's Peterson. Another three. Bombs away. Jones. Double team. Now Gonzalez. Six on the shot clock. Dribbles it off of her foot. Longhorns come back out with it, trying to beat the clock, and banking oh it home is Madison Booker. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Shot clock expiring, and the freshman hits her first score here of the afternoon. Jewett, down it goes to Nagodu. And a two-woman game slipping in. The go-to knows where her bread is buttered. And the freshman gets her first score here of the afternoon. Booker again going to work. Silky smooth from the foul line. Four Big 12 Freshman of the Week honors. Currently this past week as well. As here is Peterson, the runner. That contested, downstairs offensive rebound, Nagodu, not the first time, second time, no, the third time is the charm. Weave action, here's Booker, turnaround shot, and Nagodu with the board, and now UCF can look to tie it or take the lead. Ashola Cott will get fouled. Nagodu doing her Moses Malone impersonation. <laughs> As here is Ashola Cott, one of the two freshmen. As a Cott, the Ottawa, Ontario product, who has struggled in the non conference. That much to do with the illness that she would have right after non conference play. She was a beast for UCF there in the month of November and December. And then finally, really starting to get her legs back underneath her. She was pivotal. And Tia Messer and this coaching staff hoping that UCF in these final three games can get her back to form and maybe make a run in the conference tournament. Booker fouled on the arm. She is a Lego fanatic, but it makes sense because she's an engineering major. She loves to construct things, and what she does on the floor for Coach Schaefer is construct that offense. If she can get into the paint and there's no double team, she's big enough to shoot the jump shot. Double team comes, she dishes to a teammate. It's the final Saturday in the month of February in Big 12 play, and off to the races, Caitlin Peterson, too strong with the lay-in. Now on the push, here is Gonzalez. Open look, triple on its way, Holly. That'll hit the heel of the iron. There's Billy Smith there. And some takeaways that first quarter here, Coach, for both Texas as well as UCF. Well, UCF doing a good job of not allowing that, the offensive rebound. And UCF came out in a 2-3 zone for the first time this afternoon. Failed to box out. And sometimes Texas, that's their best offense. Just throw it at the rim and go get it. Second chance opportunities. Preseason all Big 12. The score by Gaston. Peterson's three. Way errant. Here comes the loose change in Gonzalez. There's the one-time BYU Cougar before making her way into Austin. One in Tonda into the corner. Coach Messer told us yesterday, Coach Z, that that zone would be something that she would perhaps employ against Texas. Downstairs, it is Gaston again. Jewett, roll not there. Jewett into the paint, offensive foul. And Vic Schaefer here with the directive. High post it goes. Here's Aaliyah Moore. Aaliyah Moore from, from Moore, Oklahoma. And? A product of Moore High School. <laughs> As I joked with her before the game, I, I think they named the town and the high school 
after her family. And did you ask her for any more I couldn't information get, after I that? I could not get any more out of her. <laughs> Although she does, would like to be a broadcaster upon graduation. She's actually going to do an internship this summer out in Los Angeles with Kevin Frazier of Entertainment Tonight. Or today, I should say. One time ESPN personality, Kevin Frazier, errant pass, Texas. Push up ahead, here's Booker. That's the dime from Gonzalez. Easy score in transition. This is a little danger zone for UCF right now. You, you don't want to lose contact here in the second quarter. Got to get a good shot. Maybe something inside to, to, to go to if you can. And nearly the interception by Gonzalez. It deflects, hits off the mittens of Asia Todd. Now Texas has imposed their will here in the second quarter. Catch and fire. Gonzalez is able to knock home the triple. Just the earliest tip time of the season for the Longhorns. Triple straight away. Jewett bullseye. Very 50-50 sort of call down there. She was driving into the paint as the three starting guards for UCF right now all with two fouls. And down inside it goes to Deanna Gaston. Something that they don't play a lot of, but they're going to have to buy some minutes with, it, with that this afternoon. And the arm foul, Shaylee Gonzalez thought she got all the ball. 101 and 30 right now. Vic Schaefer, his tenure at Texas here in this fourth year, leading the Longhorns. Has had such great success at Mississippi State, the national runners-up while he was there. Countless 25-plus wins. So in this 2-3 zone, you've got to attack it at the foul line, try and split the top guys. Backdoor pass, the lob. Or throw it over the top. As as there is Texas Muhammad. And Layla Jewett here at the controls. And an offensive foul against UCF. It's a shoal, a cot. On the drive, here's Booker. The contact and count the bucket. Getting to the rim. The judicious use of the left hand. This freshman is amazing. We talked to Coach Messer about her yesterday. Just... The one thing that she remarked was the maturity level of Booker is just off the charts. One time McDonald's All-American. She was a top 15 recruit coming into Austin and snaring the basketball. That is Gaston. That's an easy interception here for the Texas defense. As Booker frees herself up, soft touch, won't drop her there. Is a retrieval put back. And again, coach, we talk about how pivotal Texas is on the offensive glass. A 7-0 run here for the Longhorns over the course of the pass. Nearly two minutes. And now here's a steal. Jones up ahead. It's Gonzalez left-hand finish as the easy defense to offense. Shot clock is off. Here is Peterson gets into the paint. And out it will come to Gonzalez, and now Texas can play for one. She has had some good looks here this afternoon that she normally knocks down. Gonzalez around the screen. Pass is going to get knocked down. That was Maya Burns. Three and a half left here on the game clock. Gonzalez the trigger. As the shot fired, Gaston right before the half. And the Texas Longhorns will go into the locker room possessing a 21 point advantage. As two ladies currently in double figures for the Longhorns. A fun one, especially if Oklahoma ends up falling in the Bedlam series. I'm going to go back to what you just said about uh, the early start time. And Coach Schaefer said to us, sleepy teams lose games. Well, they are not sleepy at all. And we'll see if maybe the Knights can wake up here in the second half. Good start. Yeah, well executed play out of the jump. And now full court pressure here for Satya Messer. And Shola Kant, that her first score. The freshman for the Knights losing her footing. That's Booker. 
Loose ball on the deck, and now a tie-up. Muhammad, along with Godbolt, Arrow will stay with the ladies draped in burnt orange. To be able to manage the fouls of her three starting guards, she's just going to have to let them go. As you see Burns out there with a couple, Peterson out there with a couple, let them go. Here is Gonzalez, the turnaround in the lane, crafty move from the veteran. And now here's Sierra Godbolt eyeing this Texas defense that has held the Knights to just 30% shooting in this basketball game. Errant pass. And the Knights matching their season clip in terms of turnovers currently here into this third quarter. Booker into the paint. Silky smooth for Madison Booker. As how impressive has she been here today? And she continues this rookie campaign for the Longhorns. Tamia Ware with a triple is up, and it is good for Tamia Ware. Initial pressure, and now the Knights backpedal defensively. 20-point affair. Booker frees herself up, and... She's going to take it. That is way too easy it, for it, Madison Booker. She plays with such great demeanor. She never gets ruffled. She she plays with the right pace. And I, I'll hearken way back to Nancy Lieberman. That's the type of impact she's making right now as a freshman. Peterson with an answer as amongst the trees goes elevation and gets the score. Gonzalez, an open look now here for Holly. Triple, you betcha, is downtown right in front of the Texas bench. Don't settle for a good shot, get a great shot. And then a block shot on the other end as Deanna Gaston says, no soup for you. We played three minutes here into this third quarter as Texas with a 21 halftime, uh, 21 points halftime lead. Maya Burns across the paint. Burns contested, Burns with the contact. Does a terrific job of squaring her shoulders as she shoots it. Three point play. And Maya Burns able to complete just that. Now with five points. And coach, that's where UCF here on the season, if Maya Burns can score in double figures in games for the Knights, they have been in a lot of close basketball games. It's just whether or not they can get that third Third score here regularly. And Booker to the deck with a loose ball. And may have come down a little awkwardly on the wrist. They have a chance. And watch Booker. She just loses control of the ball and going after it. They may have caught a, a knee to the mouth. Now you see Accidental. Sierra Godbolt almost diving ahead. <laughs> And Booker will take a seat over on Vic Schaefer's bench. So training crew right now for both schools. You're a little busy. Tamia Ware trying to angle, probes in, and Tamia Ware to the 10. And off the bench, a little spark plug for Coach Messer is five points here for Tamia Ware. And the Knights have scored on four of their last five field goals. The drop-off pass and an offensive foul. Tamia Ware, she was a mid-year transfer, much like that of Caitlin Peterson last year for Satia Messer. And a whistle against the Longhorns as Tamia Ware, who had been feeling it, has that triple waved off. As that's going to be the 15th foul here against the Longhorns. A lot of clock left. The graduate student from Clayton, North Carolina. I believe that's Todd's first made free throw of the season. Her and first you attempt, actually. would be correct, sir. And a Longhorn is down. That is Aaliyah Moore trying to retrieve the missed free throw shot. Aaliyah Moore a little slow to get up. And now Billy Smith is asking for that Texas training staff to come over. You see that knee brace that Aaliyah Moore that Aaliyah Moore plays with. She's going to try to walk it off. We'll get some perspiration cleanup in the interim. And the Longhorns now here, the length of the floor, just over six minutes remaining. They've been in control since the second quarter on. It'll be just a two-point game going into that 
second stanza, and then Texas outscoring the Knights 23 to four going into halftime. Gonzalez frees herself up, and the jumper is up, and it is good. Coach, that's what's been so impressive here about Texas. They just have waves of offense. Where triple, and somebody is feeling it inside Edition Financial Arena. How about the big wave right there by Ware? And Maul is going to shift those shoes before putting it on the deck. Out there, leading scorer on the floor. Where does she have another one? And a foul on the Longhorns as Ashola Cott had the inside position for the rebound. And it's free throws the rest of the way here in the quarter for the Knights. And then you sprinkle in a, a good recruiting class coming in next year. Perhaps a couple of transfers, and all of a sudden UCF is a totally different team. I think all four schools, Coach, that came into the Big 12 this year, they knew that there was going to be growing pains. Is on the attack. That is Shaylee Gonzalez. To make it official, she was gifted a coach's notebook to use during these games with that new title on it. Back to you guys. This season, all Big 12. She was expected and this Texas team as a program as a whole coming into the season massive expectation and it is a credit to some of these other ladies that have stepped up and there's coach Harmon herself perhaps looking at a future head coach of the Longhorns on the lob Gaston as she goes high and puts it up and in the easy score now with 12 points Deanna Gaston as the length has been such a factor here this afternoon for Texas. Asia Todd on that baseline and a foul before she hits the deck. And so Asia Todd now here to the free throw line. Here for the second time in the quarter. As in the American last year here, life in the Big 12 this year. Inbound comes in. And Shea Holly with that strong bounce. Texas baseline out of bounds plays well diagrammed, well executed. Four points. Peterson, she'll get fouled. That is Shea Holly. Uncharacteristic of her already at the foul line. She's just one of four. Came in just shy of 76% good. She'll get both. Well made free throw here. A little full court pressure. Kind of try and do something to take Texas out of their offensive rhythm. Longhorns with just nine turnovers here on the day. Again, they came in as the top offense in the league and the number three defense in the league. Booker's shot jumps off. And now Peterson ahead of steam, but Texas able to get back here defensively. Tamia Ware falls to the deck. Holly comes out with the orange. And now Booker to three on two. And a lob pass is going to get knocked down by the Knights as Gonzalez trying to find Gaston. Perfect position to get the offensive rebound. Shola Kott coming off with a bit of a limp here for UCF. Jayla Kelly comes in, set piece, well executed by the Longhorns. And it's now we round in on the final two minutes. Knights have not got a field goal in over three minutes until now. Showing that she's more than just a three-point shooter. Tamia Ware, 10 points alone here in this third quarter. Holly loses it, but right in the hands of Booker. Right down the boulevard with the left hand. Can't get it to fall. Out it comes to where. Now 90 seconds. Tamia Ware off the dribble. Tamia Ware! This quarter belongs to you! She absorbed the contact and still makes it off glass. A career high for Tamia Ware, and she's done it in less than 10 minutes in this third. Aliyah Moore fighting. A lot of offensive power here in the third quarter. Season high was nine points. You'd have to go all the way back to the 6th of November. 
a win against Bethune Cookman in this third quarter. She's been unconscious. I'm going to go out on a limb, but the points here today are more important than they were against Bethune Cookman. And now Peterson quickly going to reset the offense here for UCF as that shot clock shows eight. Peterson, the runner, no. Moore with the rebound and now walking it up. Here comes Madison Booker, one of four ladies in double figures here this afternoon for Coach Vic Schaefer. And a four-second differential on that shot and game clock. Booker muscling up and getting it up over Caitlin Peterson. And the size is just too much at that point. And here's the heave to Mia Ware, and she nearly hits. They can keep up the full court pressure and try and turn the Longhorns over and string a few baskets together. All 14 of her points coming in that third quarter. Quick three, Maya Burns to begin the fourth. And now up ahead, running in front of that night defense. That's Aaliyah Moore. I would love to play with Madison Booker. She brings the ball up, always looking ahead. Even though she's their leading scorer, she always looking for her teammates. There's a blockade of Longhorns, the block on Ashola Cott, and again, out in front, Texas running. Here's a triple, Asia Todd, way short, Burns with the rebound, wraparound pass, Akat will be fouled. I'd say, you, you want to get your post players to run the floor, when they're ahead, you give them the ball, I'll guarantee you more, will continue to run the floor even harder because she knows she's going to get the ball. Unselfishness. And if you're a post player running the floor, you want that reward for running the floor. And Booker here tonight with, or this afternoon, with five dimes here for the Longhorns. And is running across the lane. That is Aaliyah Moore. She's able to flick it up and in. The cut. At that point, when the ball is coming towards you, Akat just has to sell out and try and double it and stop the penetration. Burns gets called for her fourth foul. Again, UCF had big foul trouble there. Again, a busy day here in Orlando is UCF and Texas Tech. That comes your way next here at 4 o'clock. Tamia Ware, the rainbow! and a pot of gold at the other end. I'm telling you, I, I don't know if anybody else should shoot the rest of this game. Just throw the ball to Ware. 17 points for Tamia Ware, a career high. Booker gets challenged by Nagodu and draws the foul. And now here is Madison Booker. She's rounding in on a 20-point game here for the Longhorns. 4 of 4 here this afternoon. She was 10 of 10 in their win against Texas Tech. Coach, not only does she look as if she's going to be, obviously, an all Big 12 selection, but you can make the case she could be up there for the player of the year in the conference. Well, if Texas ends up winning the conference, it would be hard not to vote for her as the player of the year. And just a freshman, to be aware. She will get fouled by Booker on the drive. And back to Coach's point. One of our three officials over by that Longhorn bench. Ware misfires on both. And rebound will come down to Booker, who will stay out on the floor with those four fouls. Booker from downtown as the triple. And for her, that her first of the game, and that's the fourth now here for Texas on the afternoon. And came in averaging 82 and a half points as the Peterson three way short. Just one of those players you look at the stat sheet at the end of the game and she's got 22, five, five rebounds, five assists, and you're like, wow, how did you do that? Three-time gold medalist is Madison Booker. 
Maya Burns, too strong. Out it comes here to Shea Holly. And Texas on the day has shot the ball at a 63% good clip. And has limited the Knights to just 37% from the floor. And keeping it high, there's Taylor Jones. Well, and it's recognition of mismatches like that possession. Godbolt stepping through. Godbolt sashaying her way into the lane. Al Gonzalez throws it across the paint, and Taylor Jones again keeping it high. Godbolt loses it, retrieves, shot clock at three. Godbolt. Peterson triple is on a rope. Now into the corner, Shea Holly. The dump down gets knocked down. And now it's Tamiya Ware, one Longhorn to beat. Tamiya Ware will get mugged on her way into the cup. So there are two things that have been amazing about getting announcers to talk about your team in a positive <laughs> aspect. Jeremy Rosenthal. There's Jeremy. He provides brownies. Um, Terry Mahajer, the AD at UDF, actually will provide a welcome package to announcers when they come into Orlando. And Drew Felios, who uh, has done a number of our men's games, actually said to me, he is the only guy who does that. And it really is like a, a very welcoming It's a nice gesture. It's very a much terrific so. gesture. Texas continues to have just weapons across the board. Taylor Jones coming off a 19-point performance against Texas Tech. They have followed the game plan, which is attack the paint and pressure on the defensive end, forced turnovers, gotten offensive rebounds, and forced tough shots like you just saw in that possession. As with just three games remaining, including this one, Texas, they will get their 13th conference win of the season. Again, Oklahoma has Oklahoma State today and then kansas state takes on kansas tomorrow so big rivalry games for throw out the records. all four of those teams that's exactly throw right. out the record scott in rivalry games shot clock at six as maul no but there is taylor jones and has one of the top recruiting classes coming in next season a shot by Ware, Kelly offensive rebound, and then a foul. Final two minutes and change. Here's Jayla Kelly. When she's not hooping it up, she's a DJ. Planet J, as it were. Basketball going to stay here with UCF. Got a couple of very good building blocks and two freshmen in a cot, a go-to. And here is a cot, wraps it around and bowling over. That is Jayla Kelly who's going to get called for the offensive foul. Texas matching the largest lead of the contest. And whistle away from the ball. It's going to be a foul against UCF. With Caitlin Peterson. The conclusion of regular season play. And Vic Schaefer's lady is going to continue the winning ways eight consecutive. You look at it from a, a Texas perspective there. This was a trap game for them. And they will capture win number 26 on the season and improve to 13-3 and three in league play. And now 24 of their 26 wins have come by double figures. And how about the dime to Mia Ware down to Sholaka? Differential on the shot and game clock, six seconds. Mall across the bubble. There's now shot clock at five. Jones gonna look to strike. Jones jumps in and out, and the offensive rebound is up and good for Amina Muhammad. And that's gonna do it here from Orlando, where the Longhorns show why they are the fifth-ranked team in the nation.